Today is one of the biggest inventions and innovations in the history of mankind. The apps, they should be understanding it. It is a big deal. What are AI agents and how can you use them in your life? Well, in this video, we are going to find out. I'm going to be diving into a AI workflow automation platform called N8N. This is going to be a really special video, guys. I'm going to take you guys on a step-by-step -step walkthrough on exactly what this game-changing platform does and then also how you can use it and build your first ever own AI agent. Now, I'm going to keep this video super, super simple and then I'm going to follow it up with more complicated workflows just for you guys because we've had a few requests about this particular subject given we want to be on the cutting edge of technology on this channel. That being said, I'm Ben. Welcome to Motivation to Invest. If you're new around here, we cover tech, AI, and also stock market investing. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, so what is an AI agent? You. Yes, me. Okay, so it's not quite that type of agent. An AI agent is a software system that uses artificial intelligence to interact with its environment gather information and take actions to achieve predetermined goals. Now, of course, I'm sure many of you guys are using ChatGPT. And I remember when it first came out, I covered it on this channel. It was a hugely viral video. And now that's become part of our everyday lives and we don't really care too much. Now, an AI agent is the next level. ChatGPT, you interact with it, you ask it questions. An AI agent, you say, here's a goal, similar to a, an employee, here is a goal, go and do actions to achieve that goal. And that is an AI agent. Sometimes they have human in the loop AI agents and sometimes they can be fully autonomous. Now this is on the cutting edge. So here's, here's a couple of stats about them. So you have autonomy is a key factor, goal oriented, data driven. They also do a lot of continuous learning. So reinforcement learning. So basically you can set the AI agent a task, you can say, okay, well, this you've done okay, this you've not done okay, and then it will then improve the next time round. Or you can say, this is fantastic, keep doing it like this. Now, of course, there are still many challenges, but this workflow platform N810 is basically a free tool you can use initially to build your own AI agent, no matter what type of business you're in. It could be sales, it could be marketing, it could be anything really finance it covers it all think of this time and this period we are in right now as the early days of the internet and imagine you have a chance to tinker around with um, an early server or an early setup of a website similar to somebody like jeff bezos did with amazon now understanding the different nodes so these are basically the building blocks of each workflow so you create a node and you connect them together now, the trigger nodes, they are at the start, they start the workflow. So for example, this could be you just clicking and saying, okay, do this. It could be a prompt as you do it with ChatGPT. It could be a different system, which does an API call and allows that to function. Now the action nodes, they are the ones that perform the actual tasks. So they can, let's say, add data to a Google Sheet. They can uh, scrape some data off the internet. They can do all sorts of different. Now, these integrate together in NA10. Now, don't worry about some of this phrasing if it's a little bit confusing for you. Just listen, follow along. Feel free to rewatch this video multiple times. So step one, you create a new workflow, you add a trigger node, you add action nodes, and then you save it. It's really, really super simple. I, I know sometimes we have the same email we need to send or you're getting a lot of spam and you want to just automate that process, you can do that. Create AI chat agents for your business, sync data across different applications. And so really there's, there's a huge number of applications as mentioned earlier. Now the power of NA10, it can work with over 350 integrations. As I mentioned, Google Sheets, as I mentioned, email providers, different APIs and much, much more. Um, and there's also a huge number of templates I would recommend using because if you're a new person to this, you want really a template to get started. I'm going to be giving you guys a template in this video also. Challenges, um, new users often struggle with the configurations inside the nodes. And also I will add to this credentials. So for those of you who are not a software engineer, I am not a software engineer. I have a 
technical background. I used to do electrical engineering, but I'm not a software engineer as it were. But there's something called credentials, which is of course paramount for security across all these applications that we have that talk to each other. Now, usually they have API keys. Now an API is basically just a way one application can communicate with another application with a common language that they that they define and they use a key to say okay this is the person who i've allowed to communicate and pull this data so that is basically what an api does now the credentials setup is a key part of na10 you need to put in your open ai api credential your other platform credentials put that inside and then basically what that will do is allow you to then communicate with the platforms but all this will become clear Debugging can be a little bit annoying, so expect it not to work the first time, even from a template. And I see some people on YouTube saying, oh yeah, no, straight out of the box it will work. And often in my experience, I find no, because you need credential setup, you need a, again, it's not a huge amount of work, but it's still, there's a little bit of time you need to take to understand how it works. But I would recommend with debugging, simply take a screenshot, copy it into ChatGPT, ask ChatGPT, I'm stuck on this bit, I'm getting this error, can you fix? And it will then give you answers and it will even give you the exact code to put inside the um, agent. Okay, so when you go onto the n8n.io website, you will see a huge website like this. It's got all the details about how you can use the platform. You can see templates here. I highly recommend checking this out. Different templates for different services. So let's say you're in marketing. Let's say you're in marketing. You want to create a personalized tech newsletter. You want to create content for Instagram. Um, you can do all this with NA10. You want to search companies on LinkedIn and do B2B marketing. So there's a lot you can do there. Um, and it works across all disciplines, as you can see here. Even if you're in, let's say, HR, um, you can still do similar things. And also, even if you're in finance, which is what we're going to discuss in the next video, after this, given we discuss a lot of investing in stocks on this channel, I have a huge finance AI agent workflow I want to show you guys. Let's dive into our first simple workflow. Basically, what this workflow does, and do not be overwhelmed by these, these nodes, but here we have our AI agent in the middle, and we have a chat window, and basically what you do is you chat with the AI agent. Now, if this is a chat window online currently, similar to ChatGPT. You could have this via Telegram. You could have this via WhatsApp. You could set up WhatsApp Business API. You could set up Telegram API. You could even set up maybe email. So it receives an email and then it, and then it activates. That's the input. It goes into here. We have OpenAI's GPT model, which I'm sure you use. We have the API for that pulling into here. And then we have a bit of memory. So it remembers what you asked it previously. And then we have our Google Calendar, which I've connected it to. Now, the purpose of this is what it does is when you ask it, uh, which meetings do I have today? It will tell you. Uh, which meetings do I have next week? It will tell you. Basically, anything about your calendar, it will tell you. Now, this is a super, super simple workflow. Um, but think about this. Before NA10 and these AI agents, to create such a workflow, you would need software engineer with the template I'm going to give you guys and you can set up and get running. So how do we get started? Well, NA10 gives you 100 free OpenAI uh, calls um, in the node. Uh, you simply click on the node. I've already claimed mine, but you can see here NA10 free OpenAI credits. Now, this video is not sponsored, guys. It's not sponsored. It's just, yeah, it's a helpful tool. So you click your credentials. Okay, free nodes there. You pick your model, GP, GPT4 Mini, um, and that is and that is it really. So that's that's the OpenAI one set up. Super, super simple. Oh, of course you need to connect your calendar. Go to your calendar here. Click here where it says credential to connect with. Click this button here and it will, I've already connected my account, but when yours isn't connected, you click sign in with Google. And I'm sure you've seen the sign in with Google before. Sign in with Google, sign in with your preferred email that you want to use and you want to view the calendar of. And that is really it. For other projects, you will have an API that you'll copy into this area, the API key. But for this one, you just sign in with Google. Um, now you can then look at, okay, what type of operation? Now, again, you're from the calendar. I've got this calendar here, which I've got here. It's my, my email from the list. 
Okay, so that is it. That is how simple it is to set up. Now, if you were making this from scratch, what you would do is you would click this plus button in the top right corner. Then you have all the different nodes that you can pick. So this one, when chat message is received, I might click chat and that is called a chat trigger and you click it. And, oh, well, I've already added one, so it won't let me, but basically, usually you do that. For this one in the middle, tools, agents, you pick that and it will let you add that and put all sorts of information about it. And we won't put any information about that now. Again, I just added that here, but that is how you would do it um, from scratch. And then you go here, open AI, again, self-explanatory, and it will tell you the different open AIs. You might want a translator that will translate a recording. You might want to generate audio. You might want to generate an image. Um, so there's a huge amount that you can do. You have memory here, different types of memory. And then what else? We've got Google. So it can connect to your Google Ads, your Google Chats, Google Docs, Google Sheets, BigQuery, um, any Google, basically, tool in the ecosystem you can connect with, which is pretty, pretty powerful. So we could say, check the Google cal Calendar and then ping this to Slack for example. So that is basically how you can set it up. It's super, super simple. Let's try it out. So we save the platform. We go open chat. And here is our chat. Now we've got this chat trigger opened and I could say, which meetings do I have today? Okay, simple. And you'll see it's working away there. It's going to the agent. It's check my calendar, which I have attached. You have the following meetings today. On Saturday, I have a business meeting with Bill Gates at 12. Um, I best not be late for that one. <laughs> I have this AI YouTube video, which you're seeing right now. I also have tennis with uh, Jeff Bezos at uh, 6 p.m. So I have a very interesting day today. Um, what about next week? Because maybe all my days are not that interesting. What about next week? Let's see. And I've used quite informal tone with it. So let's see if it can still get it. Okay. So next week you have, I have one big meeting tennis with Elon Musk. So that will be an interesting one also. So that's what you can do with the platform guys. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this template in the description below. I hope you found this simple, simple, simple and super, super valuable. If you did subscribe to the channel, give the video a big thumbs up in the next videos, I'm going to comment. Um, in the next videos, I'm going to be doing more advanced workflows such as stock market, technical analysis, sentiment analysis, and even some crypto uh, workflows. So be sure to stick around for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.